When building a house, one area of construction that can really add a lot of cost to the project is the cost of footings. Unfortunately, there is no one standard footing size that suits every building or residential house. There are many factors which influence the size and type of footing required, but one aspect which is likely to vary from site to site is the soil the footing will be built on and its reactivity. So what is a reactive soil and how does it affect buildings? Reactive soils are soils that contain a large amount of clay that naturally shrinks and swells. Why do they shrink and swell? Let's take a closer look. Clays are made up of tiny plates. In everyday conditions, some water is present amongst these plates. This is what makes clay look and feel damp. When water soaks and absorbs into the clay, it flows between the plates and pushes them apart. This is what causes the clay to swell. The most common ways clays can absorb water and swell are from naturally occurring rainfall or from the homeowner watering their garden or lawn. Likewise, clays will shrink when the water content is removed and the clay dries, such as during long dry hot spells in summer months or during periods of drought. As the water evaporates out of the clay, the plates all move back together again. So how do reactive soils affect your home? Before a house is built on a block of land, the soil would naturally swell during wet periods, then shrink again during the dry hot periods as the water evaporates. For this example, let's assume the swelling and shrinking soil movement throughout the seasons across the site is relatively consistent. Once you build a house on reactive soil, the area beneath the house is protected. What results is the clay moisture beneath the house is no longer the same as the clay moisture at the perimeter of the house and therefore the soil movement is no longer consistent. When the clay on the perimeter of the house is wet, the clay beneath the house remains dry as the water cannot get underneath the building. So the damp clay external to the house swells. This inconsistent soil movement can impart huge forces on the building causing it to bend resulting in cracks to floors and walls. Likewise, during dry periods, the reverse situation occurs where the clays beneath the house remain damp, but the clays external to the house dry out and shrink, causing the house to bend in the opposite direction and consequently results in damage to the house. Either way, the constant natural shrinking and swelling of the clays is clearly not good for buildings. However, an experienced FMG engineer can design a footing that minimizes or eliminates this building movement altogether. So how do we stop this happening to buildings that are built on reactive soil? Watch our next video to find out.